Uh, Ruy Lopez is named after 16th century Spanish priest Ruy Lopez de Segura. Uh, it is this guy over here. Uh, he looks like a bit from, like the guy from the mechanic movie with uh, Jason Statham. Um, Ruy Lopez Segura wrote a book on chess with uh, this opening in uh, uh, 1561, uh, but opening became popular uh, in 19th century when everybody started to play it. Uh, today, it is, uh, today is uh, one of the most popular openings uh, and the most oldest. Uh, it is played on all levels, so you probably seen it so far. We will check uh, most popular lines uh, and ideas so you, so you, so you can know how to uh, face this opening. Uh, many Ruy Lopez players think that uh, if they uh, capture the knight, they will uh, win the pawn, because uh, the knight is defender of the pawn, but it is the mistake, because uh, when uh, black will capture the bishop, yes, you will have the, the central pawn, but uh, black will have uh, this knight queen to the d4 move, and uh, he, uh, after white uh, go back with the uh, with the knight, he will recapture the pawn and he will uh, mess up the white pawn, uh, white uh, casting rights eventually, and uh, black will have a pleasant game. So it is a mistake. It is not a mistake to take the the knight, but don't go after the central pawn. This move a6 is the most common response to the Ruy Lopez uh, opening, so you can probably uh, see it in your own games. Uh, this defense is known as a Morphid defense. Your bishop has been attacked and you, we already see that it is not, be not the best move to take the, the knight and it is not the best uh, move to take uh, the bishop back. So uh, we will take uh, bishop back on the a4. Black will develop uh, his uh, knight and uh, we can uh, castle because we don't have to worry about uh, about this uh, e4 pawn because we can take it back uh, because the, the the knight is pinned to the king. We will uh, we will uh, castle. Uh, Black will pr uh, probably attack our bishop. We must go back with our bishop. Uh, white will play a uh, knight to e, uh, bishop to, to e7. It, this is a closed, uh, closed uh, morphic defense, and we will uh, we must uh, defend our um, our pawn uh, now with, with a rook. Uh, black will castle, and we want we want to play uh, to d4, but we must prepare to d4. How can we prepare that? Uh, we will prepare it with uh, c3. Uh, c3. And uh, black will play d6, and he uh, he wants to uh, he wants to pin uh, our knight, so we will uh, probably play h3. Then this is the uh, Morphy defense close uh, variation, and this is all theory. Uh, we could talk more about the theory, but your head uh, could explode. Uh, but we'll just uh, see what is the main ideas. Main ideas for white is uh, to remaneuver this knight to the to the g3 uh, square, uh, go back with the bishop and uh, play. Uh, d4, open the, the center, take uh, the strong center, and uh, have uh, this cope with, uh, with the bishops uh, to, the, to, the, to the enemy qu uh, king. We will see what happened uh, if black uh, uh, want to play uh, open the Morphe's defense. We already see what is best move in this position for white, and we will play it. Uh, black will develop his uh, knight, we will castle uh, like we uh, did uh, before, uh, and if uh, black tries to uh, Take a pawn, then we play d4, and this is a Morphy defense open, and uh, black will uh, chase our bishop, we will go back, uh, black will play, play d, uh, d5, we will capture the pawn, uh, black must defend the d5 pawn, and uh, now we will play uh, knight to d2, and uh, he, uh, he will take uh, attack our bishop, and uh, we are, we are gonna play uh, c3 just to, uh, to make sure to make the breathing room for a bishop, uh, Blake plays uh, bishop to e7, and uh, we will uh, uh, play a bishop to c2, and this is a, this is a Morphy defense open variation, and uh, it is uh, considered uh, lower for black, uh, so uh, it, it is playable, but it, it is uh, considered to be a lower for black. Uh, now we'll see a uh, martial attack. Uh, we already uh, been in, in this position, so we know what to do. Uh, black develop naturally, we'll castle, and uh, uh, black chase away our bishop, and uh, now uh, he develops his own bishop, we defend our pawn, 
uh, he castled, we go to c3, and now uh, instead of uh, uh, d6, which is uh, Morphe uh, which is Morphe's defend close, Black can play this attack. And every player, whatever level he use uh, the Ruy Lopez opening, uh, he must be prepared to face this attack because uh, if you play the, uh, the right way, uh, it can be very uh, uh, uncomfortable for White and uh, it is uh, very dangerous. So you must be aware aware of it. Uh, in this position, uh, we can take the pawn. A black recapture and uh, this is the gambit at the pond and uh, we will take it uh, black must uh, defend uh, defend uh, uh, the knight and we will take uh, uh, the center or, or we can uh, go back with uh, the rook first and uh, after uh, black plays uh, with his bishop we uh, take the full center and uh, this is this is the the martial attack it is very dangerous dangerous like we said for the white because uh, black has these strong uh, bishops and uh, he will uh, have uh, potentially very dangerous attack uh, towards our king uh, this is the St uh, Steinitz defense. This defense has a name thanks to the uh, Wilhelm Steinitz. It is the first world uh, chess champion and uh, he used it uh, many times against the Ruy Lopez. Uh, how can we take the full center in this position? Uh, we can do that. We'll play uh, d4. Uh, Bla uh, Black can play uh, bishop to d7. And how we can attack the knight? We'll play uh, d5. White will go back. And we, we can uh, capture the bishop. White will, uh, uh, black will recapture. And uh, what we can do now, uh, our king is on the center, so uh, uh, one of the principal is castle. Uh, so we can uh, go uh, go uh, with our king away from the center. Black will uh, develop his knight. And what is the best way to defend it? We can uh, defend it with uh, uh, with our knight, but we can defend it also with a rook. Uh, black will uh, uh, make the breeding room for the bishop and we will play c4 just to take more center and uh, after uh, black develop his bishop uh, we can develop our, our, our knight and this is the standing position it is very good uh, for for the white and uh, black is uh, is not enjoying this position and he is not feeling com comfortable because uh, white have uh, very much space uh, advantage so uh, it is good for white uh, this is the Berlin defense position. Uh, it is uh, popularized by the uh, Vladimir Kamnik in 2000 uh, when he played against Garry Kasparov in a World Chess Championship match and uh, he practically uh, dethroned uh, Kasparov with this opening. So if Kasparov could, uh, couldn't uh, crack this opening, it must be good. Uh, today it is very common uh, uh, play against the, uh, the Grand Masters and it uh, have a very draw drawish reputation. Um, in Dutch match in two, uh, 2000, uh, bes um, between uh, Kasparov and Kramnik, there was uh, 15 matches and uh, Kasparov was white uh, seven, uh, six or seven times and he probably pl played this opening uh, four or five times, one or two times he played English and uh, one he played D4, So, uh, but he couldn't uh, crack uh, uh, to this opening. And we will see one game uh, from that match, uh, Kasparov was white and uh, in this position he castled and uh, black uh, take the central pawn, uh, white uh, open the center and uh, a couple of moves later there was a queen exchange and surprisingly, surprisingly here is uh, black is totally fine here. He have no uh, castling right but uh, it is end game so there is no queens on the board and he cannot be attacked so easily. Uh, so a couple of moves later uh, black consolidated total and uh, and uh, uh, that was uh, that was uh, uh, two games uh, before the, the end of the match. And Kasparov didn't even want to play play on. Uh, this is the, the the last move of the game. They uh, agreed to a draw, and uh, that's how uh, Gary Kasparov lost his uh, title. This is the Schliemann defense, a very aggressive defense for Black. Uh, I like to play this because. Uh, it can be a very double edge, and uh, white can be the one who are, who have been uh, been attacked because uh, black have uh, fast development and he have potential attack uh, on the file. Uh, what you should do is white just to hold on, uh, exchange the, the the central pawns, and uh, continue continue nor normal game a castle, and uh, you will have a pleasant game. It's good for for white and it's good for black. <coughs> 
The idea of Cosius defense is to avoid damaging uh, uh, black pawn structure because uh, you defend the c6 pawn, uh, c6 uh, knight, and you will you won't double uh, your pawns, and uh, you bla uh, white will often castle. Uh, black will try to fianchetto to his bishop, and you will prepare uh, uh, the d4 push. You will push the, the d4, and after some ex exchange, you will have center, and you will have nice game. Uh, this, this is the Fianchetto variation. It's uh, very similar to, to the other variation. We will play C3. It is very similar uh, similar uh, ideas. You want to play D4. Uh, Black will try to trace away a bishop. We go back, and uh, after uh, D6, we will fight for the center. Uh, White will play bishop to D7, and now we can castle, and we will have normal game also. Uh, so that was quick preview of the Rui Lopez opening. Uh, tomorrow I will try to make video of uh, traps in Ru Rui Lopez. Uh, if you like this video, you can give like or su subscribe to my channel for uh, more more content uh, like this.